like you say, I think it's a complete contrast in styles, this fight. I think, uh, yeah, Yoan's going to have to play in a slow down because uh, I think he's going to come out wild in that first round. Now, with Yoan Thomas, the future, making his way to the cage, fighting out of Sean Mix Martial Arts. He has got five wins, no losses. Last time out, he beat Zayn Akali. And uh, it was a test for Yoan Thomas, and he's a very young lad, but he's got a ton of potential in this sport. You know, he, a lot of people out there are thinking this guy's going to go on to be a UFC champion in the future. You know, he's, he's so young in the gym, but he, he's, he's fighting fully grown men every time he comes out here. And, and like I said, you can see, you look at the crowd, he brings, he always brings a crowd, I guess, every single time he fights. And I think like the last time he was out here, even though he got the win, he was himself, he was ill fight week. This camp has been a little bit better for him. But like I said, he's taking another tough fight. Like you said, he's, he's a young, he's a young guy in this gym, fight, uh, in this game, fighting men. And um, it's amazing to see Johan develop as a fight that have won. Like I think, you know, I think everybody in this arena would agree and he's touted to be one of the, the next up and coming rising stars to reach the UFC and um, you'll be able to see that, you know. He's very mature. For a young fighter, he is very mature. And he brings a massive following with him here as well, you know. There's uh, half, half the people in this place are on their feet to watch this one, yeah. but he hasn't even got in the cage yet. It's a tough fight, it's a tough fight, and it's a tough test for him. But like I said, you know, he's, um, he's been fighting the best in the world. Introducing first, fighting. Out of the blue corner, he stands six feet tall, official weight, 170 pounds. He is fighting out of Fort Park in Scotland and brings up the cage. A mixed martial arts record of six wins with five defeats. Introducing James Patton. Standing up to him in the cage, fighting out of the red corner, he stands six feet tall. Official weight, 170 pounds. He is fighting out of a fly guy in Wales and brings him to the cage. An unblemished mixed martial arts record of five wins. Introducing to you the future, Johan Thomas. Your referee in charge of the action begins, Mr. Simon Small. A lot of support here for him, as always, you know. He's, he's probably one of the biggest ticket sellers of the evening. So, um, yeah. Expect a quick start, though, from Jim Patty. He's never slow. He's never slow. He's never a slow start there. You can expect wild things from Jim Patty. Just as you predicted, Brett. Yeah, he's Although, not... uh, James does look a little bit more measured than, yeah. than last time he was out. He's a um, lovely little counter sweep from Johan there. Brilliant work. You know, unfortunately, lost his foot in. James Patty got on top of him, but he was able to use the butterflies then to, 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 get, to get back to his feet. And look now in the position where he's able to, to improve from here, you know. James Patty is a very awkward style of fight for Johan to take, but so far. You know, he's doing really well. Looking to pass it the mount. He's still in half guard though. James Patty did a great job there. Look look at you to try and take the, the sort of daggy handcuff from you. He's working a lot on the gym, but he's able to come behind behind James's back and dictate the grip. But unfortunately that position's gone now, but he's in the instep on the half guard is great work as well. He's gonna take his time here. I think there's a cut over the right eye of James Patty, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, he has come. I did see a little bit of a mouse there at the start of the fight, so I think that might be a you know, an old, an old sparring wound, but in full mount, and it's and it's early in the fight. You know, just able to pair with the guy with shots, able to sit back on the knees. There's the handcuff. The potential handcuff is on now. You can see Johan's hand trying to get in that gap there. He hasn't taken it. Now he's starting to take it. Is he? There you go. He's, there's the handcuff. You can see it there. He's actually nice. And unfortunately, with the fence being the way, that's not. But well, he's using it very well, he is using it very well. Great work from James Paddy, great work. He's got reversal, from, a, yeah. from a very bad position. And the sweep is back on. He's used that twice now tonight, and it's worked to his favour twice. This is this is a, a definitely a quicker pace than he's used to. You know, this is definitely what 
you know, as as a, as a as a Yoel Thomas fan, anyway, you know, watching him getting these quicker pace fights is what I think people want to see. And already, you can see that no matter how crazy the fight goes, he stays composed. He's in full mount again. You know, there's the choke now. It's on. Well, you're seeing shades of what he does in the gym here, aren't you, Brett? You know. Yeah, you do. It was, like, look, at the, look, look at the maturity on a guy that, at this age. It, it's for someone like me who's been in the game a long time. It's terrifying. It really is terrifying. But then again, you know, he's found James Paddy. This guy, he's not going to give up. I've watched him fight through the He has got the really good well, oh, no, he's no, come he's back for strikes. Him. James is doing a good job of defending these, these attempts. He's doing a really good job. There's 19 seconds left of the run. He's got his back. I think, you know, James is, is, is quite clued up with the submissions here. I think he'd be able to kind of survive now until the end of the run. Maybe I'll be wrong. There it is. It's on. Ooh, it's going to be close. It's across the jaw. It's going to be close. It's not a nice... Oh, he's tapped, he's tapped. Oh, oh. Look at the crowd here. Oh. Going in wild. On the buzzer. Well done, Yohan Thomas. On the buzzer, on the buzzer. Do you think James Pye would have held on if he'd known? Oh, I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> I, don't, I think he would. Re... Look, I'll be honest with you. Having that, like, sort of, like, really to choke across the jaw, it's a horrific feeling. It's not a nice feeling. And it's a lot of pressure across the face. I think he knew that the 10 second buzzer was coming, I just don't think he was able to cope with the pain. It's not a nice feeling, it's a horrendous feeling. But I think that's what we wanted to see, we wanted to see Yohan get a finish, he's got a finish. He looked very good doing it. James Patty is a very difficult fight to take, but he was still able to get the, the, fi the finish, so brilliant work from him. What a win, moving to 6-0 for Yohan Thomas, the what, future. What is next? You know what I mean? Like, you know, and, and, and there's, there's a big elephant in this room, you know, he's 6-0. and o. I don't think there's many other fighters on this card with a 6-0 and o record, even the guys fighting for the belts, you know? So, what's next? I don't know. He's still a young man, though. He's still got plenty of time. I'm sure whatever Richard Shaw wants to do, he'll do it. Ladies and gentlemen, your referee, Mr. Simon Small, puts a stop to this contest after two minutes and 59 seconds of the very first round, declaring your winner by way of real naked choke in the red corner, the future.